So it's Wednesday the 2nd of September today and I've popped out to see what they're doing on Russell Beach at Cleveland's because this is site investigation work as part of the Russell Coastal Defence Scheme. So if you've been down here you probably will have seen that there are diggers working and there are hot cabins and a compound at this end of the beach and things happening and sort of all very strange so this is this is what they're doing I'm not quite sure what he's doing I'll maybe find that out in a minute um, but they've got markers on the beach it's it's taped off where you can't go any further and there's a a nice big no access for an authorised person sign here as well so what they're actually doing along the entire stretch of beach is site investigations oh I think he's just adjusting his ramp to get the diggers on and off that's what he's doing um, so they're doing site investigations to get information about the bottom of the sea wall so that they can prepare for doing the wire beach management plan this beach looks quite stable at the moment but it's not quite all that it looks so we're going to go and take a walk right down to the cafe and we'll rejoin you in a minute and tell you what they're doing and show you show you in the bottom of the hole so they did site investigations at this spot yesterday you might have seen the picture that i put on to visit Cleveland. so you can see by the way that the beach has been disturbed that it's all been dug out they've looked at the concrete where it goes underneath the beach this is a curved sea wall you might just be able to tell um, and the curve let me just turn that around the curve the curve carries on down there and underneath the sand for some distance so that's what they've been looking for they've been looking for what's called the toe of the defences because <coughs> they're not built like sea defences are built now there's no sheet piling at the end of it which is the bit that leaves it vulnerable potentially to any um, erosion <coughs> or being washed away so they're doing they're digging holes at periodic intervals along the sea wall so that they can see what is actually built underneath and then they know how to do the detailed design for the beach management scheme when they actually get around to doing it so you can see that it's quite low around that slip where they are <clears throat> and it's quite low along this section here where I'm stood along on the edge of the the sea wall and then because of the way that we've had recent weather and the sea has banked the pebbles up it's quite high at this section here so the plan when they have done their investigation work is to put big rocks like the ones that are in the groin underneath the beach in this section here which will hold the pebbles in place and stabilize it and then there will be groins similar to that stone one running like this this way along the section which will hold beach material and stop it from moving northwards and eroding because the problem is that if this beach washes away once in one storm you're not too bad if it washes away again in another storm on quick succession you're in a pickle you've got really bad flooding at that point so we're just about up to where they're working so we're going to go and take a look in the hole that they've dug out it's just after filling the hole in as you can see the the, the bottom layers of clay are going back into the hole and you can see in the bottom of this hole that is dug that straight line is the edge of the sea wall so this sea wall here curves down and goes under the beach so far so they've looked at all of the um, ground, ground conditions while they've been doing it I'll just walk down here and then you'll be able to see more or less around the around the side maybe not it's quite a deep hole that's a nice piece of wood I wonder if Mr 
Mr Digger could be persuaded to move it. So they're taking um, samples of the geology, the, the, the stuff that's in the bottom of the beach while they're here and then they've got all the information that they need and you can see that there's the other um, no, no, no crossing sign at that point. So this part of the work will be more or less done by the end of this week and then they've just got the little compound to clear away. And what a change in the weather! Goodness me, it was absolutely glorious yesterday. We were sat outside sunbathing, lovely, beautiful day, and now it's raining and it's windy. So apologies if the, the soundtrack's a bit noisy. But you can see here, this is part of the problem, that the lower beach level creates the overtopping that we got in the last couple of weeks when we'd had all those storms. So you can see from here that the seawall curves and that concrete that was stuck out and ended in a straight line under the beach is where the extent of that concrete seawall comes to. So that's what they're looking for with their site investigations and, and what they're actually doing. So that's, that's today's little bit of fascinating information. So don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed hit the bell for notifications and if you've enjoyed this video and you like to know what's happening make sure that you've signed up for the Visit File Course weekly email newsletter because that is a fountain of knowledge that will tell you exactly what's going off in this area. So you have a lovely day now, I'm off back before I get wet through. See you later, bye!